Also developing this morning, it could be days before lockdown is lifted at Attica State Prison. That according to state officials. Daybreak's Heather Lee has more on the string of violent events that led to that lockdown at Attica. Good morning, Heather. Hi there, Pete and Melissa. Good morning. The violence started between inmates back on Tuesday, then escalated. Staff members were then assaulted, including a correction officer who was stabbed multiple times and another who suffered serious injuries to his face. Again, we're told the lockdown could take days as COs search every inmate, every single cell and other areas of the prison too. A monumental task considering the sheer size of Attica Prison. We talked with Kenny Gold. He is the Western Region Vice President of the Union representing correction officers at New York State Prisons. He said an already dangerous job has become even more dangerous in recent years, especially after the state legislature passed something called the HALT Act. Uh, it limits disciplinary measures such as solitary confinement. Gold said right now there is no fear of consequences for inmates behind bars. Behind walls, no, everybody thinks nothing happens, but there's really bad people back there that have no fear of consequence. And it's, it's a horrible uh, chain reaction of events right now. The men and women that work in these prisons really do. They feel like someone's going to get killed, and if they do, that it's not going to matter to the people that enacted HALT. Oh. He went on to liken HALT to other criminal justice reforms, which some police and prosecutors have said leads to more crime in the end because of those reduced consequences. The State Department of Corrections says that they're right now working with state police and local law enforcement and say that they will prosecute any individuals involved in this week's attack. Again, that search at Attica is expected to last several days. Live and on your side in the studio this morning, Heather Lee, Channel 2 News Daybreak. All right, Heather, thank you for that.